Hello, Music Bear here. Uh, I've been asked how to make guitars, and um, I'm going to show you how to make uh, gu those guitars we're talking about are uh, rock guitars. So, this is what we're going to try to make today. This is what uh, we are aiming for. <laughs> We're gonna use triple OC um, to uh, to do this, and you can see the first thing I've done is I have set up a um, three different uh, wave shapes. Uh, I'm using a, uh, a rather soft uh, sign here in the first instrument, but w mm, when when we are making this, mm, I'll also uh, switch some of these around because you get very different uh, expression from the instruments when you do that. Set the course detune to the same value, the zero value actually. Uh, uh, th uh, I do that because I want to get the same inference from all of, of uh, these uh, different wave here or the three different wave shapes. Uh, normally it, it would be like you have this here on 12 plus, and you have that on on on, uh, uh, on, on uh, neutral, and you have this at minus 12. You can do that, but um, I I think that I get a better expression from the guitar the instrument uh, if I have them as uh, same value. Um, yeah. Okay. The same volume, all three, um, uh, also, and you can see it's not a lot of volume, it's actually very little volume. And that is because our instrument is actually going to sound like this. Uh, yeah, I'm playing it. This is how the instrument is going to sound when we're done with it. All the rest of it is in the effect. And that's because we're going to use a very powerful effect called clip. Um, so the actual instrument is very, very uh, silent. And that is exactly how a real electric guitar is created. If you have a real electric guitar and you try to uh, uh, play a string, um, you almost not audible at all. Uh, next to no uh, sound on the actual string, but I'm going to amplify, uh, uh, um, uh, amplify uh, what I have. Amplify is not a word. Uh, so let's look at the next thing we are going to do. That is the envelope, and in the envelope I also wanted to emulate a real guitar string. So I have very little attack, almost none. It's just to get rid of the click. Should be, I think I manipulated it a bit there, it should be just uh, 10, 12, yeah, that's fine. Um, you can double click it and, and write in 10 if you like. No hold. The decay is important because that is how a guitar string or any string instrument will work. You you hit it, it goes on immediately, and then it rings out over time, and that is what we have here: decay over time. No sustain because I don't want it to uh, have the same s uh, uh, exp uh, expression at any time in that time slot. It won't. It will always be on and then ring out. Okay, small release, um, and that's just because I don't I don't like instruments that stops like <coughs> oh, that they are they quenched or, or or choked. So I give it a little bit release, not a lot, and that will also avoid any kind of clicks. Full amped. 
uh, I'm not putting any vibration in it. I could. Then it would be a Leslie. If, if you put in some kind of uh, LFO rip, uh, vibration here, you could make it a Leslie guitar. And um, that, that's, that's pretty good also. Um, we do that with the cutoff because we want to have a bit of of uh, well it's it's just it's more like a feeling because you can see I'm not even giving it the full amp I'm just giving it a little bit so it just gives it it's make it not uniform and uh, with the ratio we do not not uh, do not anything here. Um, so that is how we set up um, the envelopes. The filter is a two-time low pass, uh, and uh, the ratio I put it here at a value of oh, three. Yeah, three, three point zero one. So it's three, right? Three point zero. That's the uh, the resonance to to the sound. Um, so that was the envelopes, and here we're not going to do anything immediately. We'll show you something later, and then we come to the FX, which we have taken completely out now, right? The FX is um, the most important thing is this guy here, the C clip. Uh, the, um, uh, that is where all the 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 the, the wild sound come from. I can take out the others here, we talk about them later. Uh, and just play it here and toggle this uh, effect here. Um, and listen, this is without... You can barely hear it. This is with. So this is where the the, the 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 amplifying of the sound comes from. Um, I also put in this guy here, C star amp, and that will make the sound a little bit more crisp. Listen. Finally, I give it always all my instruments. Anything I make, I'll put in an EQ. This is not um, a given setting at all. I changed that in in order to to get the exact expression uh, I do want. Um, but you can see here. Listen to the difference with and without. You can see here in the controls, in this case, um, I have made them like this. You can, if you want exactly like it, you can freeze the, 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 the video and emulate these, if you like. But that's just this guitar, right? Uh, you don't have, uh, there's no reason to have exactly these settings in all guitars. Uh, and the amp VST here, uh, you can see here the settings. Uh, I think I didn't change anything here. Very little. Uh, and the clip. Just full power on the clip. But then I bring it down here in the wet-dry. Because if I turn it all up here in wet-dry, I don't have any speakers anymore. Okay? Uh, and since I'm wearing air earphones, phones, I don't have any eardrums. It can go really loud. So you can f mm, fiddle with this guy here to make it uh, louder and, and more aggressive. But be careful. Okay. Um, reverb. This is a, a reverb uh, a preset. Uh, Some guitar players would say to you, No! Never! 
ever put reverb on a rock guitar. And yeah, well, um, you won't if you if you use a real um, a rock guitar. Uh, then there's no reverb or any kind of echo or stuff on it. That's just pure raw. Lot of amp, no reverb, nothing. But I don't know. Giving it just a bit, just a bit. You can see uh, the wet dry is almost on 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 no uh, effect. Listen, what the effect is. <laughs> We have to remember that when a band play in a concert uh, hall, there will be some kind of uh, reflected sound, some kind of uh, reverb, some kind of echo. So we can emulate that with a little bit of uh, plate and get a <coughs> sound like that. Um, and that is pretty much it. This is how the guitar is made. There's nothing else to it. So it's a pretty simple instrument actually. Um, when we play guitar, some of the tricks that guitar players do are playing power chords. Um, and yes, you can see I press these down here. You hear this and then the power chord. The power chord is also called a fifth, and we can actually find fifth in our uh, stacking tab uh, table here. Uh, it's all over here where I can never get uh, with um, uh, with a bit of recorder. Um, but it's simply just called fifth, and it is the third last uh, in the third column. So now I'm in fifth, and that means I'll always play power chords. Very, very uh, uh, common stuff in uh, rock. Um, well, that's how to make a rock guitar in um, in elements, and uh, I don't think I have anything else uh, of interest today. So uh, with that, I'll just say bye bye and thanks for watching.